tipsy cause I've been sipping on Henny. I got the study of my vision and she ain't from the city. And she ain't foreign and she boring. Love the way you twerk it, shawty. Throwing money on her own. I call it independent, shawty. What's up, everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit. We are here on Forza Horizon 4 staring at a 370Z this time. So, I did the video on Forza Horizon 4 before with wheel settings. So today we're going to go look into wheel settings again on the factory G920 wheel like we did for Forza Motorsport 7. Do a mild build tune on this 370Z and get sideways with it. You know, get used to it and see how it handles. Maybe adjust our wheel settings accordingly. I am still on the stock G920 wheel size because I know a lot of people, like I said in the last video, have been asking for the stock rim size. So we're going to do this today here on Forza Horizon 4. And I believe I'll probably jump back into Forza Motorsport 7 and do some uh, drifting tactics and more tips and tricks on Forza Motorsport 7. Maybe ping pong back and forth if you guys will keep wanting to see these little drift tip videos and stuff like that. So we're going to get by starting by tuning up this uh, 370Z. We're going to go to custom upgrades and the necessary upgrades first. That is drift suspension, sway bars. We're going to leave the weight and no roll cage because we are doing it like a streetcar. Clutch, a rear diff, just like we did in... Uh, Motorsport, and then we're going to keep it on stock tires as well. And then we're going to go 245s in the front. We'll keep that 275s in the rear. And we are going to be able to adjust the track width on this. So we're going to throw some nice wheels on this car. And uh, what am I feeling for wheels today? I don't know what I'm feeling for wheels. So we're just going to. Uh, I do like those 1552s. I feel like we gotta we gotta poke these wheels out first before we can actually get a judge on good wheels. We're gonna go full wide stance in the front, full wide in the rear. That looks so much cleaner. All right, let's see what we what we're feeling for wheels now that it's properly, I guess, sitting on the car. Those look pretty nice. Probably go with some. Although I do like the Anki wheels on the 370Z. They do look nice. I could sit here all day and just try and decide which wheels I want to throw on this car. But I will be throwing this tune up as well. So I'm trying to pick a, a decent looking wheel that uh, I feel a lot of people will like. This wheels I'm running on my 240. Hmm. I do kind of like those wheels. Little five spoke dish wheels. Well, for today, we're going to put those on there. We can change them up if we feel like it. So now that we got all that squared away, we're going to go into power. See what we're looking at. We're looking at 270. We're going to put an intake, throttle valves, injectors, coils, and exhaust. And then I feel like we're probably going to try and get this one up to 400 as well, which actually could be pretty hard. That Z went up to 400 a lot quicker than this one did. Oh, I think we're close now. 414. 401. 401 horsepower in this car. I guess we'll be okay with that. 401 horsepower, drift suspension, and uh, some mild uh, tunes. We're going to throw race brakes on this car just so we can adjust it. So we can do some uh, left foot braking if we have to. Uh, so, oh wait, that's 570 horsepower. Wait, whoops, was I reading numbers wrong? Get wrecked on myself. I was reading torque. Get wrecked on myself on that one. See, I was, wasn't paying attention, I was doing torque instead. All right, so now we are at 422. I feel like 422 horsepower, 419. 419 will be okay. All right, now that we got the right parts installed in the car, we're gonna go tune this thing up, get the suspension set, and then rip it, probably rip it on the toge, maybe in the dock section, just see how this thing slides, and uh, go from there. Drop this down, not as far as we would Drop down other cars. 
Definitely gonna dial back that camber a little bit. I don't think we need that much. We start with three and a half, one, zero camber and tow, caster angle. We're gonna leave caster all the way up for this one. So any roll bars, we're gonna stiffen them up. Make this car a little stiffer, not too, too stiff though. And then we're going to soften the springs. I'm gonna raise that just a smidge. Actually, we're gonna stiffen those springs up, soften the rebound. We're gonna drop our braking pressure down to 50. It's kind of a personal preference. We're gonna leave that at 75. We're gonna drop this down to about 50. Not sure if we're gonna need to uh, change that for here with being low power. Like I said, the Z handled good in motorsports, but we're gonna see how it handles here in Horizon. So we're gonna go with that. I think we're gonna go with that basic setup. So obviously before we get fully into this, I'm gonna have to show you guys the wheel settings. So we are in the snow, but not a big deal. So as for wheel settings on our G920, nope, not difficulty settings, controller settings. We're gonna go into advanced. So as for controller settings on the G920 here in Horizon 4, this is what we're running as of right now. We're running our force feedback scale at 55, vibration at zero, centering spring at 100, wheel dampening at 80, force feedback understeer. We're gonna kick that back up to 90. Minimum understeer we have at 54 and we are at 900 degrees. We're gonna kick that down to 870 just for a little bit of a buffer. So that is what we're running on our wheel settings here for today. So that's what we're looking at. So we're gonna get the wheel cam turned on. And we are on the stock G920 rim. And uh, we do have our hydraulic cam brake. We're gonna see how this goes on a stock rim. So this is a very mildly tuned car. I say mildly, Ford of horsepower in Horizon is mild. But I do not know if we can drift in the dock because it's probably going to be fully covered in snow. And it is. So, no dock drifting. Unless we kind of do some snow slides. Which the wheel feels super light in the snow because we're losing grip all over. But the car does feel okay so far, so we're going to head up to the tow gate. This could be our basic area to test. And, uh,. See if we can't rip this car up the toge. The gears feel like they're pretty long. But uh, we're going to give it a shot, have it how it is, maybe make some fine tune adjustments. Downshift, a little handbrake. There we go. So, the wheel does have a lot of more snapback in Horizon 4. A lot more back and forth steering when you start sliding. Like, I can let go of the wheel and it kind of just goes. So, there's a lot more of it in uh, Horizon 4 than there is motorsports. Um, that's why a lot of people are having problems with it or they don't like it. I don't have a problem with it. I kind of uh, kind of liked a little bit of a self-steer back a little bit, but um, we're gonna give a shot on this uh, stock rim. So my settings were, like I said, for my uh, larger rim, but we're seeing if they work here. The power's not there right there, but Car does handle well and the wheel does feel nice we can kind of just let go of the wheel and let it let it kind of do its thing right there which is kind of nice to just be able to let it go and kind of let it do its thing and I think that's just the way the car set up as well probably gonna rip second gear we're gonna definitely rip this downhill because we'll have a little bit more forward momentum but as you can see I'm kind of just letting the wheel do its thing I'm kind of just like letting it go letting it go in the counter steer and let it you know kind of ride which is which is a good thing and could also be a bad thing because if you're not expecting it it could uh, come and bite you but we have figured out that uh, this tune on this 370 being a mild drift tune 
it does work. It does feel pretty good. Definitely test it on the downhill part to make sure. You definitely need some more power in a car to uh, fully take advantage of this toge section. But the test will be really going downhill with this wheel to make sure that the wheel feels really good. But right there, I kind of just let it slide in my hands, let it do its thing. And the same rules apply here as they did in motorsports. Start off lower, learn the car, learn throttle, learn how much like power you, you can give it. Then you'll learn how to modulate your throttle on a higher horsepower car to keep from spinning out too much. So, we're gonna rip it downhill. Probably get to use third gear here. Let the wheel go, let it do its thing. Should have clutch kicked there. So I really want to see how much I can let this wheel, let this wheel go and see what it does. Cause it definitely is just sliding in my hands. And I kind of like the feel of this right now. I was trying the other day, the other day to drift in some high horsepower cars and I was struggling a little bit. And that's because I've been switching back and forth between seven and horizon. So I feel like this is a very well handling car. So we're gonna see how much we can let it ride, a little flick back. So it does kind of go where it needs to go in a counter steer sense. So with this tune, which I will leave up before the end of the episode, if you're on a G920 and you have my settings, you should be able to, we're gonna really test it here. Handbrake, let the wheel go. I'm gonna snap it back and let it go. There's a little flick on my hands, but not much. The wheel kind of came back. So you can't just let it go, because if you flick it too hard like that, you'll definitely spin out. But if you helped the car, you were off throttle, you probably could have saved that. Little brakes there, no brakes there. So if you're on a stock V920 wheel, and you're having problems because either the force feedback is too much or it doesn't feel right, give my settings a try. Let me know what you think. Maybe try this 370Z tune out and see how it feels. So of course now we're gonna probably go to a bit of a higher horsepower car. And I hit the wrong button. I'm gonna go to a higher horsepower car and see how this feels on the G920 wheel with these settings because I'm not sure how it's gonna feel. We're gonna go into one of my favorite drift cars in this Horizon 4, and that is the, that of that Mustang with those really wide rear tires. Have a sip of our uh, tasty beverage. So now we're definitely gonna see how this handles. And see how this is gonna work. Break that in. I don't know why I just uh, crept up there, but I did. So, there's a lot more wheel movement on the higher horsepower cars, but it still feels fairly good. And uh, I don't think there's much adjustment that needs to be done on these wheel settings for the stock wheel. These are the same wheel settings I was running on my 350 G920. Uh, G920, 350 energy wheel. Can't speak today. And we're uh, not doing too, too bad, except for right there. We did Mustang things. So give these settings a shot. Like I said, I will put that 370Z tune up and uh, let you guys get your impressions on it and see what you guys think about it. We're definitely gonna rip this thing down the mountain. This car is not oh, glitchy. This car is definitely not meant to get like the highest drift score. It's just a very smooth driving Mustang. And it's it's not super overpowering. It does have a decent amount of power. It's just for some reason I've grown to like this car. That's all I understand there. So we're gonna rip this one downhill and uh, see how it goes, but these are the settings I'm using in Horizon 4. I know a lot of you guys have been asking. I've done videos before with them, but 
Here's a new video out. The release shifter. And uh, these are the new settings that I've been using. Not much has really changed from my last video, but it does work on this wheel. Um, the feedback is pretty rough. Uh, it's stiff, which is what I like. If you would like to, you could probably dial it back a little bit. You wouldn't get as much um, spin back. Um, so that's, I guess, personal range preference or personal preference for your arms. <laughs> but this Mustang feels good. The 370Z feels good. The wheel definitely feels good. So we're gripping up there because I have no idea why. I think I probably have tire pressure set too low right now. But as you can see, we're taking guardrails out. It is possible to definitely get sideways on a G920 without a larger rim. You don't need it. Is it does it help? Yeah. A larger rim does help as I almost lost it there. A larger rim can help because it's easier to throw. It has a little more weight to it. You do lose a little bit of feedback feel, but you gain a nice feel and control. I love my NRG wheels. That's why I use them. But if I had just a G920, huh, believe me, I'd be having a lot of fun on this. I think the reason I'm understanding so much is because of the snow. I'm not used to the snow feel. So this car is definitely set up for uh, a drier section. But we made it work. Made it work somewhat. So I think I'm gonna throw that uh, throw that 370Z tune as we're just plowing snow right now. I can always hit that wrong button. We're gonna throw that 370Z tune up for you guys if you guys wanna give it a shot. As you guys know, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. All of which you found in the description box below. Do so appreciate you guys coming back to the channel for another episode here on Forza Horizon 4. Uh, we'll probably be back on Forza Motorsport 7. Torque Drift is gonna be coming back for sure. Just uh, having some issues with my phone and uh, recording at the moment. So that's where Torque Trips has been. I know some people have been asking. Been having a little bit of issues. Gonna get those sorted out here this week and Torque Trips will be back. So we're gonna upload this tune so that you guys can give it a shot. Save setup. You guys give it a shot for yourself. Let me know how you guys feel about it. And let me know what you think down in the comment section down below. Let me know if this video helped, if the settings helped. If you're having um, a hard time drifting still, let me know. Maybe I can try and uh, help you out. I would like to continue to bring a lot of these tutorial videos out. So I'm going to be uh, hooking up with some guys from TUS and do some tandem tutorials and stuff like that here in the near future. So look forward to that coming. So that is up. It is named EVL. So until next time, guys, I'm Evil Rabbit. I will see you guys on the next one. Oh, I want something